Captain, uh, Captain Mannering has asked me to bring your attention to an item in yesterday's paper which states that a member of the Home Guard in the Midlands was fined five pounds for being drunk in charge of his rifle. You wish to speak, Mr. Wilson? Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure you do not believe that a member of this platoon would would behave in a like manner. It's a snurge on our integrity. Yes, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I'm sure no offence was intended. I think Captain Manning just wished me to draw it to your attention so that we might all, uh, you know what I mean, all benefit from the lesson. What lesson? Don't take your gun to a party. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mannering wants to insult us. I think he should insult us to our faces and not get somebody else to do it behind his yeah, back. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm sure Captain Mannering had no wish to offend any of you. Well, where is he then? Well, he, uh, he's here. Doing what? Hiding? Well, yes, he is in the way he is, yes, hiding. Well, not surprising, is it? Call us a bunch of drunk and yeah, yeah. If my mum will allow me to drink, so how could I be drunk well, and well, I mean, charge I'm, me right? I mean, I don't mind really. a drink now and again, but like Jonesy says here, you can call him a slow to drunks. I mean, he's a bit of a liberty, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, all right, all right. Now, that's just calm down. Now, Captain Mannering is going to give us a surprise lecture. So when you uh, fall out, I want you to all gather round in a little sort of... Uh, semicircle. Do you understand that? Just in front of the platform. Is that quite yeah. clear? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, well then, uh, do, do that then, will you? Fall out. Fall out. Uh, Captain Mannering. Captain Mannering, uh, the, uh, the men are ready, sir. Alright, well, you can announce me now. Alright, sir, just pay attention, please. Now, Captain Mannering is now going to show you something really um, rather unusual. What are you going to do? There was a comic term. <laughs> What's unusual about that? <laughs> Good evening, man. <laughs> I dare say you're all wondering why I'm dressed up like this. I will. No, 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 sir, no. no. Well, <laughs> as you see me like this, can you guess what the object of my lecture is going to be? Truly intrusions. <laughs> <laughs> no, not so. Camouflage. Ah. Now, before we start, I shall want a volunteer to uh, drop in the scenery. Mr. Speaker. Y yes, Corporal. I'd like to volunteer to drop into the scenery, sir. <laughs> Something a little bit heavier, you know, Corporal. It's all right, sir. It's all right. Now, I'm used to this type of work, sir. I, used to, I, I helped at the vicarage uh, pantomime last year, sir. I'd done the beanstalk, and once you'd done the beanstalk... Yes, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Stand over on the side there, would you? Yeah, but we don't, we don't call it the side, so we call it the wings, sir, the wings. Yeah, all right, stand in the wings. Yes, sir. thank you very much, sir. Uh, Sergeant, would you uh, stand by the curtain? Yes, all right, of course I will, yes. Now, the object of <clears throat> camouflage is to merge into one's background. Uh, draw the curtain, Sergeant. All right, then, yes. <clears throat> Now you observe how I stand out clearly uh, against a plain background. Yeah. Bob, okay. yes, sir. Drop in the scene with the, the woodland on, would you? Woodland the scene. Woodland, woodland scene. scene coming down, right, sir. Woodland scene, sir. Right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Observe how well I merge with my background. Can <laughs> you think of any way in which I could improve the camouflage? Yeah, how about disguising yourself as a coal scuttle? <laughs> coal scuttle. 
You and I'll burn your bum if you stand there. <laughs> Corporal, get out. You put the wrong scene in. Oh, sir, it's the woodland scene I want, not this. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> That's the Baron's kitchen, Yes, sir. yes, sir. I know. I know it is. <laughs> yes, we had a lot of fun with that last year, didn't we, Joe? Yes. Yeah. You know, when the horse brought the, the, the pumpkin off and all All right. I, I, I don't want to hear the story, Corbin. Put the woodland scene. That's right. To the woodland scene. Now, as I say, it's always... Sir, sir. To Excuse me, sir, but we had a lot of trouble with a Shetland pony last year, sir. <laughs> Just about where you're standing. Yes. <laughs> Corporal, will you get the woodland scene? Yes, I'll get the woodland scene. Woodland scene, woodland scene coming in now. Right. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? I've got my foot! Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Jones, where are you? <laughs> Corporal! Jones! <laughs> the man in? <laughs> Where, where's Mr. Manning? Well, he went, he went well. round the back, I think. Uh, um, are you there, sir? Yes, of course I am. Open the door. Oh, well. <laughs> it's these little ducks I look at. Uh, uh, would, would you mind going round the back, please? We've had yes, help I'll Captain Manning get through the, the door. Get the woodland scene in here. The woodland scene. Excuse me, Sergeant, you're no better at it than he is. Uh, I've never done a beanstalk. <laughs> oh, all right, take it up again, I'm Sergeant. Sorry, sir. Are you all right, Corporal? Yeah, I'm fit as a flea, fit as a flea, sir. I said, it makes a bit of fun, doesn't it, sir? All that going up and down, sir. I think you'd better go and sit down. Yes, right, yes, sir. Um, can you manage all right, sir? Just about, I think. <laughs> Now, what do you think of that? Well, I think oh. that's the best turn I've seen in years, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, everybody. Now, the points I wanted to notice particularly are as follows. First of all, the face. Now, for this, we need some corks. Champagne corks are the best. You cook them under the grill until they're burned right through. And then? Serve them on toast. Very toasty. Very sweet. <laughs> Walker, Walker. Your very life may depend upon this one day. You grind them to a fine powder, mix them with grease, put them in a tin, and then apply the mixture to the face. Any questions? Yes. How are you going to get hold of champagne corks? Remember, there's a war on. I'm very well aware of that, Fraser. As usual, we shall improvise. Mission to speak, sir. Yes, Paul. Why don't we get hold of an old cork bath mat and chop it up into lumps? That's a very good idea. Yes, sir. Make a note of that, Tom. Yes, sir. You wouldn't have a job getting hold of one of them, sir. Very scarce they are. Why? You, well, there's a war on, you know. I do just happen to have one in the store, you know. Uh, <laughs> i tell you what, as it's for the platoon, 30 bob, all right? Thank you very much, Walker. I think we'll find another source. <laughs> Medicine bottle corks do, sir, if so I, I can ask at the clinic. Yeah. <laughs> do that, will you, uh, Godfrey? Black leg. <laughs> now, you'll we'll also notice that I'm covered from head to foot in foliage. Good job there's no squirrels about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, are there any further questions? Yes. What did you do in the winter when he can't get foliage, eh? Eh? Yes, uh, yes, that's a good question, yes. Anybody got any thoughts on that? Permission to speak, sir? Yes, Paul. What about holly? There's an abundance of holly in the winter, sir. Holly. We cover oneself with holly instead of foliage? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Or, or mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, now, our main task, then, is to... Blur the outline. Break up the outline. Now, I'm going to dismiss you, <laughs> and bearing in mind what I've told you, I want you to play back here in one hour's time, fully camouflaged. 
Is that understood? Yeah. Right. Yeah. All three of Sorry, sir. It's my hay fever, sir. Well, don't stand next to him. Get down to the end of the line. What's this supposed to be, Godfrey? Well, I tried several things on, sir, but uh, nothing seemed to suit me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're supposed to break up the outline, you know. Sir, I thought I was sufficiently broken up as it is. <laughs> What's this you've got on your face? Oh, that's my atheistic mask, sir. Y your one? Uh, uh, beekeeping, sir. It was full of holes. Uh, yes, I know. I should bend them, but, uh, but uh, my bees are quite friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Why this? Look as if you're on a cruise to the South Seas. Well, I had the idea from a picture I saw with my sisters last week. It's called South of Pago Pago. Dorothy Lamour and Little Mature were in it. <laughs> well, I liked him, but my sisters thought that, that Miss Lamour was uh, rather fast. <laughs> <laughs> what has this got to do with camouflage? Well, I, I don't quite know, really, sir, but I thought it looked sort of uh, uh, open air. I <laughs> 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 I'd rather be, sir. That's a rather open air. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been to see? Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> No, this is winter camouflage. You wear it in the snow. <laughs> well done, Fraser. Why aren't you in camouflage, Corporal? I am in camouflage, sir. And camouflage is a butcher. <laughs> it's a butcher. I know I am, sir, and you know I am, but that don't mean the Germans know I am, sir. <laughs> I don't think I quite follow this line of argument. Well, sir, I'll be standing outside my shop, you know, standing there a bit nonchalant, and along come this German soldier, you see, and he'll see me dressed in this apparel, and he, just as he's beginning to treat me with ignore, I go, what, with the old cold steel right at him? <laughs> they cannot brook that, you know, so they will not brook that sort of thing. No, I'm aware of that. No, no, <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Pike? No, it's not my fault, sir. I I've got a note for you from me mum. <laughs> I'm not having our Frank covered in a lot of damp leaves. <laughs> We'll only set off his chest again. Right, that finishes it. I'd like a word with you after the parade, Sergeant. All right. I've never heard anything like this in my life, Wilson. The way Mrs. Pike mollycoddles her son is absurd. Yes, it She's is. always writing notes or coming down to here, interfering with the working of the platoon. I tell you, it's got to stop. Wilson. Yes, yes. What would happen if all our men came with notes from their mothers? Look a bit odd, wouldn't it? Uh, it certainly would, sir. At their ages. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, Wilson, somebody's got to talk to her. Yes, yes. And as you're friendly with her, I think you ought to do it. Right. You are friendly with her, aren't you? Yes, I am, sir. Yes, yes, I am. We go to the cinema together every now and then. Yes. And sometimes she asks me back for a meal, you know? That sort of thing. What sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever she happens to be cooking at the time. Oh, I see. <laughs> see, I, she's got my ration book at the moment, so you see, it makes it a lot easier. Yes, yes, I'm glad to hear it, Well, the point is, you've got to have a talk to her. Yes, right. 
I wouldn't allow even my, my own wife to tell me how to run this platoon. Yeah. Thank heaven she knows that a woman's place is in the home. Right. I wouldn't tolerate for a moment her telling me what to do. Hello? Ah, this is Mary. Yes, of course, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> it's your wife, sir, on the phone. Really? Yes. Hello? Elizabeth? <laughs> 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 well, I'm very busy. I can't get home for at least half an hour. I see. Well, I'll leave you to lock up, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to have a word with Mrs. Pike. Yes, of course. Sir. Remember, there's only one way to deal with women. Oh, how's that, sir? You must be very firm. All right, sir. I'll be very, very firm. I've got Lovely. no strings to hold me down. Make me fret or make me frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings. Frank, it's your butter ration for the week. <laughs> <laughs> could manage one all right. I know. He can have that little room at the back. I'll write and let them know tonight. So wasn't Uncle Arthur supposed to be kinder to you this afternoon? Yes, he should be here in a minute, if you don't mind, do you? No. No, I, I quite like Uncle Arthur, really. <coughs> no, dear. I mean, you don't mind us having a little evacuee to stay oh, with us. Oh, no, no. <coughs> Is children grow up so quickly these days. But I must say, it'd be nice to have a little child about the house again. I wonder what it'll be, a boy or a girl? <laughs> well, we shall just have to wait and see, won't we? <laughs> It'll be funny being a mother again after all of these years. Frank, don't say anything to Uncle Arthur about this just at the moment. <laughs> Let me tell him in my own time. All right, Mum. Okay. <coughs> oh, there you are, Arthur. You're late. Yes. Good late. Oh, thank you. 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 Oh, no, 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 thank you, sir. No, I'm quite all right. I'm very hungry. Well, you must eat something. Mm. Oh, I know. I managed to get some of those nursery biscuits today. I'll go and fetch them. Oh, no, 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 Mavis, please don't bother. Please don't. Very kind of you. I, 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 I just, I'm just, I'm just not hungry. Thank you. But you like nursery yes. biscuits, Arthur. They're your favourite. Yes. They've got icing on top with little children on yes, them. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly what they look like, but I just don't happen to want one at the moment. There's no need to snap my head off. I'm not snapping anybody's head off. Especially after me using all my points oh, to get I'm them. Sorry, Mavis, I am awfully sorry. It just seems that I, I don't know, I seem to have somehow <laughs> lost my appetite. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have wasted my points on them if I'd known. I have to be very careful with everything on points, you know. Of course, it seems the only thing you can have nowadays isn't on points. It's a baby, isn't it? <coughs> Yes, of course. I don't know where you get it from, unless it's from some of those rough men in the home guard. I'd like to speak to Mr. Mannering about it. No, 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 no
I think I'll go and put my uniform on, otherwise I'll be late for parade. Yeah, you do that. All right, Frank. <coughs> Oh, Claudina, what's the matter with you tonight? It's not like you to look so miserable all the time. <laughs> Miss, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I couldn't help overhearing what you were saying to Frank just now. Oh, hmm. you mean about the addition to the family? Yes, that's right, yes, yes, that's right. Well, I don't see why you should worry about well, it. Well, I do worry, neighbours, I do, I tell you why, Jimmy, so... I can't understand how you were able to take it all so calmly. Well, what do you expect me to do? What? Well, it isn't as though I'm the only woman in this situation, you see. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, uh, couldn't you keep still just for a moment? You see, I, I, I feel a bit responsible for all this. You see. Well, I don't see why you what? should. After all, I'm the one who decided to have the child. Oh, why? 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 Yes. Because there's a war on. <laughs> do I think? Well, what's the war got to do with it, for heaven's sake? I mean... Well, I wouldn't be having the child if there wasn't a war on, now, would I? Well, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Arthur, do stop trailing about after me like a lost sheep. I'm trying to get on. Sorry. Oh, do hurry up and get ready or you'll be late for no. your parade. Mary, do you think I could have a little word with you Oh, Lord, it's that boy. You're ready, thing. Uncle Arthur? Yeah, all right, well, I, I'll, I'll join you in a little while. You, you know, just uh, tell them I'm coming. All right. Uh, <clears throat> now, maybe uh, it is a little bit worrying, don't you think? Oh, baby. As you will all have read on the notes board, we're going to hold a monthly competition for the best improvised weapon or method of defense. Our prize will be awarded, which will be paid for out of platoon funds and provided by Lance Corporal Jones. What have you got for us, Corporal? Uh, it's two lamb chops and a quarter of a pound of chitlings. <laughs> hey, then, ben, two lamb chops and a quarter of a pound of chitlings. It, what are chitlings? It's the uh, secret part of a pig, sir. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, be tried indeed. <laughs> hey, well, now we have three entrants. Sergeant Wilson, Private Fraser, and Private Walker. Hey, come on, Jonesy, come and give us an hand with mine. Right. So we'll ask Sergeant Wilson to give his demonstration first. Right. Get him on, Sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. We're waiting for you to demonstrate your grenade-firing crossbow. My what? <laughs> crossbow. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I really am terribly sorry, sir. But I'm afraid I I I left it at home. Left it. Yes. What is the matter with you? You're in a dream. Are you feeling ill? No, no, no. I'm quite all right. Well, pull yourself together. Yes. <coughs> I have a word with you after the parade. Yes. Right. Do that. Well, in the absence of the sergeant's crossbow, we'll call on uh, Private Fraser to demonstrate his anti tank device. Aye! Right. Well, sir, this is the road. Now, I place a raw plate upside down in a line right along it. So, you did say this was an anti-tank device. I said that's right. Dinner plate. I have done dinner plate. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> now, the enemy tank comes along the road. Suddenly, he sees the line of plates right in his path. He doesn't know what they are. So he stops, opens his turret, and gets out to have a look. Meantime, we are hiding behind cover. And as soon as he gets out of his tongue, we'll let him have it. Bam! <laughs> what do you think of that, sir? Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, Fraser. Thank you. Thank you. Right, now then, we'd better call on uh, Private... Oh. oh, sir. Private Walker. Oh. Right, now, folks, here we have possibly the greatest invention since the Spitfire. We have the most remarkable piece of personal protection Walker, here, the great Walker, thing possible. Walker. Yes. If you're not in the marketplace, get on with the demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. 
Well, it's a sort of a shoulder protector, isn't it? Like, uh, uh, from, uh, uh, you know, flat and you know, shrapnel. And, well, anyway, it's made out of half a tyre, you see, and it will protect you from all that, and then he blow from a weapon. I'll demonstrate. You all right, son? Here you go. <coughs> How's that? I never felt the thing. It's a very good idea. <laughs> very good advice indeed, Walter. Well, now, we've had two excellent ideas from Fraser and Walker. And uh, we'll decide who's the winner by the usual democratic show of hands. Now, hands up those who like Fraser's advice. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> now, Walker. Right, well, that makes Walker a clear win. Oh. oh, don't worry. Don't take it to heart, Taffy. I'll give you some of my chitlins. That's the first time my name is Walker. <laughs> so much so that I think we'll equip the entire platoon. Now, let's see, there are 17 of us, so that means we shall need nine old tyres. Oh, there's a slight snag to the idea, sir. What's it? You can't get no tyres these days. They're like gold dust. Can't get them anywhere. Why did you suggest it in the first place? I think the price had better go to Fraser. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, I know they're difficult, but they ain't impossible. I do have to have a few tyres, you know, in the yard. You know what I mean? But as it's for the platoon, ten bob a piece. How's that? It's outrageous. <laughs> I think my friend has got some old tyres. Oh. He bleating would have, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Oh, well, that's better. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll cut them up for you. Half a crown of time. Quiet, They'll be quiet. Be quiet. Sit down. <laughs> right, Sergeant, this is Mr. Parade. <laughs> Sergeant. <laughs> I'll see you in my office now. All right. This is Mr. Parade. Right. 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 Shut the door. Oh, now, what's the matter? The matter, sir? Yes. You've been in a daydream all the evening. I've spoken to you on various occasions. You haven't even been listening. And then, to cap it all, you leave your grenade firing crossbow at home. It is a. It's. Or rather difficult. Better sit down. Uh, thank you. You're in some sort of trouble. Uh, well, well, it's not me, you see, sir. It's, uh, it's not me. It's uh... <laughs> Mrs. Pike. How do you mean? Well, well, she's um, uh, she. Uh... Now look, Wilson. I'm not only your commanding officer. I'm also your friend. Mm, thank you, thank you. And I don't want you to leave, feel any hesitation in confiding in me. No. Now, what's all this about Mrs. Pike? Well, uh, uh, she's, uh, she's, um... Good <laughs> 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 have a baby. Really? <laughs> oh, that is good news. <laughs> In fact, I think her husband will be delighted. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's a widow, isn't she? Well, that's right. well, how on earth can she be having a baby? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said you only went round there for meals. <laughs> yeah, I, I did tell you, sir, didn't I, that uh, uh, she's got my... Ration book. <laughs> She's got something else now, hasn't she? <laughs> I can hardly believe my ears. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion I don't know you, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> a cat, that's what you are. How long have we known her? What? Oh, I've lived, uh, quite, a, quite a few years now, sir. Well, why on earth haven't you asked her to marry you? I don't know, sir. I just, it's one of those things. I just haven't been able to get around to it. Sometime. Well, you'd better get around to it, hadn't you? <laughs> you can't go about behaving like, like, like Errol Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the bank 
directors would say if they heard about it. No ideas. No. Well, I have. You must do the only honourable thing. You must ask the woman to marry me. That's right, that's right. I think you're quite right, yes, that's right. I'll, I'll, I'll have a word with her, sir, during the next uh, few days. We'll have a word with her tonight. <laughs> you don't seem to realise there's no time to lose. No, but you see, sir, today is Tuesday. What's that got to do with Well, she goes to bed early on a Tuesday. Why? Well, she's all gets terribly tired on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Wake me up, would you? Yes. And I expect when I see you in, in, in the bank in the morning that the whole thing will have been settled. All right, sir. All right, that's all. Can I leave the room now? Can I? Please go. Right. right. <laughs> It's me, Mavis. I, 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 I want to talk to you. What on earth do you want at this time of night? Well, it's only ten o'clock, Mavis. I, I really, I'm, I must talk to you. What on earth will the neighbours think? Well, I can't help what the neighbours think. Oh, all right. I'll come down. All right, well, do, do hurry up, will you? <coughs> Hello, then. What's going on here? Oh, oh, sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I didn't, you know, I saw a shadowy figure in the doorway. I thought something fishy was going on. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's quite all right. <laughs> she locked you out, has she? No, no. No. no, no, no. Quite all right, thank you. Lost your key? No, I don't have a key. Well, I've got a bunch. Three bobbies, no, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I came here to remind young Master Pike uh, the, 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 about the parade tomorrow night. Oh, but you see him in the bank in the morning, yeah, weren't you? Yes, well, I came round to remind him about that as well. Oh, Dad, oh, you still there? Yes, of course, I'm still here, dear. Good job you were out when you did. I'd only just got undressed. Oh, Mavis, please. No, Sergeant, no, Sergeant, you know, uh, you know, I'm a man of discretion. I mean, we all have our private lives to lead. Know what I mean? Mum, the work, you know? Yes, all right, work. all right. Just go and do it somewhere else, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you please open the door? I can't. I've locked up for the night. Besides, I've got my mother staying with me for a few days, whatever would she think? But I can't help about that. Mavis, I, I must talk to you. Talk to the letterbox. Oh, this is acutely embarrassing. Oh, my God. Well, Arthur, what is it well, you want to say? Well, maybe. Uh, look, will you marry me? Oh, Arthur, what is it you want to say? I'm going to dismiss you a little earlier this evening, men. As you know, on Saturday, Sam Wilson and Mrs. Pike are getting married, and we're going to provide the guard of honor. Now, I want to have a little rehearsal. I want us to assume that the door to the hall there represents the entrance to the church. So on the command to fall out, I want you to form two ranks on either side of the church porch. Right? You understand that? Yeah. Uh, Attention. Do fall out. Right, quickly as you can. Come on now. Two small right? Down the side of the church. There we are. Now, on the appearance of the happy pair, <laughs> I want you to draw bayonets and form an arch over them. Like, well, you've seen the sort of thing in the newspaper. Now, Sam, <laughs> go and take your place up at the other end. Is this really absolutely necessary, sir? Well, of course it's necessary. We want to think, do the thing properly, don't we? Well, it's a bit come embarrassing, though. Oh, come on, there's a good chap. Ah, now, wait a minute. We want someone to take uh, Mrs. Pike's place. 
Commissioner Speaker. Yes, Corporal. I'd like to take Mrs. Pike's place. Do <laughs> <laughs> mind? Thank you, Corporal. Send Mr. Summers. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> Donald, present. Better. Not you, Corporal. Corporal. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Now, put your arms through, Salkinson's. Right, down it comes. No smile, baby, we'll sing it's your wedding day. Nervous, Sergeant Wilson. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Manning, but our, sir, huh? our little newcomers arrived. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dear little boy. A little boy. Well, 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 but <coughs> when? About half an hour ago. Half an hour. <laughs> and you'll never guess, Arthur. His name's Arthur, too. Oh, is it? Come on, Arthur. This is the addition to the family, our little evacuee. Hello, you Mark Arthur. No. No, this is your Uncle Arthur, and I'm sure he'll be very pleased to see you. Yes, I am absolutely delighted to see you, and some of you leave as well, curious enough. <laughs> <laughs>